Hey guys, Jennifer from Scrapping Under the Influence. So I have a new design team project for you today for Country Craft Creations. Um, I used the sticker sheet from the Lost in Neverland collection to create this little shadow box. Um, the stickers and all the little pieces and parts are just attached in kind of a circle pattern on a piece of vellum um, that you then put into the shadow box with a piece of cardstock behind it. Um, you'll see in the tutorial I actually originally had just um, the navy blue cardstock behind it but I really didn't like the look of it so for my final I actually did switch it out to this um, star pattern that's on the back side of one of the 12 by 12 sheets that's in this collection. So um, take a look. This is a very simple project. 10 or 15 minutes tops start to finish and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so to do our um, shadow box, all we need is an 8x8 piece of vellum and the sticker sheet and some foam squares or foam tape or if you had spare chipboard pieces you want to put on the back of these. However you want to, to give some of these some dimensions. So basically I'm going to start with whatever I want the center and the focal piece of my um, shadow box to be. So I've got my vellum sitting on a piece of the um, cardstock from the collection just so you can kind of see better what it is that I'm doing. So the center, the focal point of this is going to be of course Peter Pan with Wendy and John and I cannot think of the Michael. <laughs> Michael, his name is Michael. <laughs> um, they're going to be the, the focal point. We don't have to get too crazy with the foam dots here because this is of course going to go into a shadow box frame and there's no risk that this is going to get like you know smashed down so we're just going to kind of center this on here about there and then we're going to kind of go through and we're going to start by picking some of the bigger elements that we want within our our shadow box and all of our big elements we are going to pop up our small elements and typically you kind of keep these in a circle but I think yeah let's try to keep this more in a circular pattern and actually to help with that what I'm going to do is inch circle or thereabouts just from a piece of scrap card stock that we're going to just kind of lay underneath to kind of keep us about where we want to be okay so like I said, all I'm going to do is keep finding the bigger elements that I want. And getting those situated. Let's see here. Let's go with... I think we're going to do about five large elements and then we're going to kind of come in and we're going to fill in with some of the smaller elements. Oh, let's go with this smaller 
mermaid sticker. Okay, so now, since we've kind of got what we're got what we're wanting to have going on here, now we're just going to fill in with some of these smaller elements. And I'm going to start with some of these smaller flowers to kind of help define our excuse me oh my gosh to kind of help better define where our circle is here so there are a whole bunch of these little kind of flowers and you know I'm not sure what they are uh, some of them are kind of flowers some of them are kind of like tropical looking leaves and things feather. Okay, so now we've kind of got our circle defined. So now we're going to go back and we're going to find some of these smaller elements. So like this lost boy, we can put him down over here. We have a small Peter Pan. We're going to put up here. I've got a whole bunch of little fairies, little Tinkerbell and and whatnot, we can just kind of sprinkle throughout. Let's put him over here. Put in a word or two. We want that small. This lost boys. We're gonna put this over here. Oops. Okay, so you get the basic idea. So I'm gonna keep filling this in. The only other element that I'm gonna use to fill this in is gonna be some of the enamel dots. We're gonna fill those in here and there and everywhere, um, just in between everything else and I'll be back when it's all done okay so we're just about done as you can see we've used almost all of the tiny stickers from here we've only used four of the bigger stickers so I have all the rest of these left for my next project um, and this is ultimately what you end up with we could have added more of the enamel dots if I had some um, bling of any kind that matched this, which I didn't dig to see if I did. I probably did. Um, you know, you could add some more of that in there. If you wanted to add more of the bigger pieces, you absolutely could do that. Now all you're going to do is it's going to go in a 9x9, nine nine, I'm sorry, not 9x9, nine 8x8 nine, eight eight shadow box. This one is from Michaels. It's from... I'm not sure how old this one. I don't know that they still have these anymore. I bought a bunch of them when they were on sale a couple of years ago. Um, if they don't have these, they do have a 9x9, which actually works just fine with this as well. I have several, a couple upstairs that are like this that are in a 9x9. Um, so, you know, it works. Um, all I've done is back this with just some navy blue artisan card stock that's going to sit behind this. We can leave it sitting directly on top of it. We could actually, if you wanted to, you could do some more foam squares behind some of your elements here so that they aren't seen and attach those two together. Um, instead of using the solid card stock, you could use um, some of the patterned. Um, I decided I wanted the solid in here instead. So all I'm gonna do is lay this in here. 
drop this in behind it and put my back on. Assuming this is turned right. <laughs> it is. <laughs> okay, so there is your finished shadow box. This would be great for um, this may end up most likely, this will either end up in my son's bedroom or it might actually end up in my office because I love this collection. It's just adorable. Um, I may actually switch out that navy that's in there behind that for something else. I'm not honestly sure yet. But for now, that's all there is to it. What's nice is you can do this with any collection you have. Um, this was really inspired by, I have a whole bunch of these, these little shadow boxes that I've done with um, Doodlebug products. But it's something that's easy to do. It looks really nice and really you can do it with almost any collection that has a sticker sheet. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the project.